Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm just gonna do a, another chilled out video. So I'm just gonna do like a get ready with me while I kind of do like a try on haul, I guess. I just bought a bunch of makeup and I feel like I haven't like done like a haul or like saved a bunch of makeup in quite a few months. So I haven't got that much. It's just kind of a few bits. They're not all from Beauty Bay. They are in a Beauty Bay box, but it's not all from there. I just got little bits from different places so I'll tell you where I got them from and what I got and I've applied the stuff and show you what I bought and give you kind of like a first impressions on what I think about it so if you'd like to know what I got in my little mini haul and see me try the products on then be sure to give the video a thumbs up and just keep watching. Like I said I've got everything in a Beauty Bay box but I didn't get everything from there so I'll just go through some of the stuff that Actually, there's probably only two things that I'm probably not going to use, or two or three really, that I'm not going to use because they're kind of irrelevant. So the first thing I got was, I watched Kathleen Knight's, she's my favourite if you didn't know, I watched her, I think she did like a haul recently and she got this hair mask and I like trying different hair masks at the moment. And it's by the brand Maui and it's their Shea Butter Hair Mask and it's for dry damaged hair and we had it at Boots which I was really happy about. I think I remember seeing the brand and I wanted to try them so she kind of reminded me that I needed to try this brand out. I haven't actually tried the hair mask yet, I will probably let you know what I think about it but it smells really nice and yeah it smells like coconuts and stuff so I am excited to try this. Like I said it's for dry damaged hair and it's got like shea butter coconut oil and macadamia oil in and it's a big tub so it's definitely going to last a long time so I'm looking forward to trying this thing out so if you didn't already know my favourite moisturiser just ever is the Neutrogena Hydra Boost and I, I just love this it's like the gel cream I think there's a different one um, I think there's one that's a bit more thick than this this is more like a gel thin watery based kind of moisturizer like it's just it's just like kind of clary white and it's just such a nice lightweight moisturizer but it's really nourishing for the skin so it's my favorite moisturizer ever they have come out with a hand cream Neutrogena have got a Hydra Boost hand gel cream got hyaluronic acid in which is really good for hydration and I'm just so happy about this so I tried it the other day I still need to finish my soap and glory one that I keep right here next to me so after that's run out I'll be using this but I did use a bit the other day just to try it and I'm obsessed I love it my hands just felt so so soft and just really moisturized after I used it so I'm so glad that they came out with a hand cream. The last product that I'm probably not going to use in today's video but I still want to talk about because I think it's a really good deal and it's kind of worth your money. But yesterday I went to Marks and Spencers with my mum and they kind of have high-end-ish makeup there. Yeah, no it's not ish, it's, it's high-end makeup that they sell there in some of the stands and stuff so I got this. So they have a Stila stand and I got a little set and it's the Glitter on the Glow Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow set. So you get three in the pack and I saw this on Beauty Bay but it's always sold out so I saw it there and there was only a few left and I was like yep I'm gonna get it. These are literally like the literal the Glitter and Glow glitters that they already have. So obviously this is a full size one that I've already bought myself. This one's Kit and Calm. This is a full size one and this just this one is £25 on its own. Really, really expensive just for the one. This whole set of the three was £25 and I'm just going to take them out and compare them to the full size ones because obviously these are minis and but you do get three for £25 and it's like, do you really use them up that much? So you do get Kit and Karma again so now I have two Kit and Karmas but um, sorry, I'll tell you. So you get Rose Gold Retro, Kitten Karma and Smoldering Satin. They're the shades you get in this. So if I just show you, like, obviously, oh, it's so tiny and it's really cute. So you can see the clear difference that you can see the difference. I mean, it's not a huge difference and to be fair, who actually runs out of these that much? Like, I don't wear them that often that they're just gonna, you know, run out all the time. So... I'm really happy that I got this set. I've just got a bunch of stuff that I do want to try. I haven't got like a full, full face. So I'm probably just going to put on kind of what I've been wearing at the moment otherwise. So this is kind of what I've got left in the box. I'm just going to quickly, I just realised I haven't done my eyebrows. 
that's not okay so I'm just gonna go do my eyebrows moisturize my skin and do all that stuff and then I'll be back to actually try on some stuff so if you've watched my channel for a few months then you know what this is this is the Becca first light priming filter I did have a small mini size that I think I talked about in my empties video I love this primer it's my holy grail like favorite primer if I just had to pick one to use for the rest of my life it would be this one I love it I'm obsessed so I got the full size I thought it'd been long enough and I have used up I think another primer so I thought if I use up one full one then I will allow myself to get another and I love it. So I already know that I love this primer so I know it's not like a first first impression on this but I still got a new one so I'm still gonna try it. Ooh. Been, um, to be fair I've been using the Too Faced one a lot at the moment, the Hangover X, Hangover, I don't know what it's called, like is it Hangover RX or X, I have no idea but I just call it the Hangover primer anyway but I've been using that, like the mini one and I'm probably gonna get the full size of that when my mini runs out because I'm obsessed with it. I love it. I really do love it. So for foundation, I don't have a new new one. I think I've used this once. I think I used it in like my last video. I think it's Too Faced. It's their matte peach foundation. I'm pretty sure I did use it in my last video, but it's the newest foundation that I've kind of bought recently. So I'm just gonna use that. I'm still literally just obsessed with it. It's, again, still the only foundation I've been using. I haven't actually used my NARS one in a few weeks since I've got this, but I found that that's like still my favorite like holy grail foundation because of like the coverage and how long it lasts on the skin and obviously it's a bit dewy as well. But this I find is really, really good for every day, especially the summer because it's matte, it's gonna keep all the oils away, but it's not heavy and it doesn't feel, you can't feel it on the skin or anything and it just it just looks really nice and it looks quite natural as well so that's why I've been loving this then for concealer I've really been excited to try this out because it's a brand new concealer from a brand that I have never ever actually tried before so they're on Beauty Bay and I've seen them kind of floating around and I've seen now more people use, talk, use and come talk about the brand the brand is called okay it's either Nabla or Nabla I don't know how you're gonna I don't know how you pronounce it it's N-A-B-L-A I'm gonna call it Nabla because I'm from Manchester and we just, it's Nabla. The packaging really cute on it, it's like a little hexagon and it's got little shapes on it and it's really cute. But, look at the concealer packaging, like, what does, like, what does this, seriously, like, what does this remind you of? If this, this was also £16 for the concealer. I don't think that's too bad considering my favourite concealer ever, obviously, is the Shape Tape and that's 24 So I'm gonna get that out because the packaging automatically reminded me of the Shape Oh my god. Even the cap, look at the cap. So obviously this is the Nabla one, and that's the Shape Tape. So they're a similar-ish size as well. And when I open this, and the applicator is literally just like, it's huge. It's like, it's like the Tarte one. So I don't know if this is gonna be a dupe for it. I haven't tried it. I've got the shade Cream Beige, and I've been dying to try this. I found it so hard not to use that that's pretty full coverage so it had good reviews so i'm hoping i'm gonna like it i don't know if i should have got a darker shade or yeah also the shade range it wasn't the best they had a i can't remember the shade okay that is really full coverage i'm just gonna flip this over on the other side and kind of and just try and savor this a little bit it's kind of creased a little bit underneath the eyes and oh okay hold on it like i don't know it's creased already but it's like kind of looking a bit dry like right here i don't know if the camera's gonna be able to pick it up but you see what i mean like it just looks a bit odd it just <clears throat> hmm I seriously thought this was going to be like the new shape tape, but clearly not. I don't know if it's like the shade because it's like a tiny bit too light or it's too light for what I usually do anyway because I don't, I'm not like the biggest fan of a bright under eye, but I might need to like try this out again because it just feels and it just looks a tiny bit dry like here and it hasn't like kept the full, full, full coverage that it kind of showed when you know you just kind of apply it so I also have a setting powder from them it's a loose powder 
again in the same kind of packaging they're also cruelty free and vegan and they're made in Italy it says on the packaging so that's good I'm a I'm a fan of Italy so it's nice I like the packaging it's like I don't know it's just it's like frosted glass and I kind of like that so yeah I'm hoping this is a good powder because I feel like I need to stray away from my um my derma blend because it's the that's all I use. I'm gonna tip some out into the cap. Or not. It looks like flour and powdery, like actual like baking flour. Come out on the cap either, like it. Like I'm, I'm glad like it didn't like come like gushing out, but yeah, see that's really thick powder. See. I don't know why I thought it would smell. I have no idea why I did that. Oh, the powder though. That feels really smooth. Okay, I think I'm gonna like the powder. Kind of like solid inside, like the powder isn't broken up. I don't know how to explain it. It's just... Right, look, it, it, it doesn't really come out. Like, just doesn't come out that's the only issue maybe I just have to give it a bash and it'll be fine but I'm, I'm gonna see how it holds up throughout the day um, and then I'll, I'll probably use it in the next few videos as well to try and see how it applies on top of like different concealers and stuff um, but as a first impression I do like it I think the concealer is just a TBD for the concealer. I'm not I'm not sure how I feel about that yet. Okay, so highlighter, I don't have a new highlight, so I'm just gonna put on some of my Maybelline Master Chrome. Um, okay, so for eyeshadow, I haven't got a new palette, but I've got a new kind of liquid eyeshadow one, so I'm just gonna quickly go ahead and just off camera apply some shades into the crease and stuff, and then I will come back and show you kind of the liquid eyeshadow on camera. It's not the Steeler ones, by the way. It's a random brand that I've never heard of, but I want to try it anyway. So I'll just go do my eyes quickly and then I'll be back. Use the Extra Spice palette by Revolution and Soph. I'm still obsessed with this palette. Um, and then I just applied some concealer onto the lid. I used the Nabla one again. It's not like, it didn't show up as like super, super full coverage on like when I was trying to cut the crease. So yeah, I definitely need to try that concealer out a bit more because I'm not sure about it. The eyeshadow that I got, I don't, I honestly, I think I got it in like one of those subscription boxes that I did have. Now I don't. Um, but it's by the brand Studio 10. I've never heard of the brand before. And it doesn't have a shade name on it. It's just this kind of rose goldy copper kind of shade. So I'm just going to try it and yeah it's like a rose gold kind of shade this is something that is like an eyeshadow topper I'm gonna pop them on top of eyeshadow because it's not it, it's just like glitter with a like a tint of rose gold so obviously you can still see the concealer through it but it looks nice it does look quite nice i might just give this a wipe off i'm just gonna take taste buds from the thirsty palette by jeffree star which is this one uh, I'm just gonna whack this all over the lid. Yeah, I prefer this. This, it really does remind me of the Stila ones. I'll do like a swatch comparison in a minute. And here, like, you can kind of like see like the darkness of my eyelids a little bit. So I don't know if it's starting to break up a bit because that's not gonna be good because we don't want that. So yeah, I don't know about that. I'm gonna have to, <laughs> again, I'm gonna have to try it a bit more and it's just, Maybe apply it in a different way, I don't know, but it looks nice, like from afar it looks it looks pretty nice. I'll like swatch the Stila one next to it on my hand. Kitten Karma by Stila and then this is the Studio 10. So you see what I mean, like there's pigment in that one, like it's kind of metallic and then this is literally just glitter because you can like see my skin through it. So yeah, I think, not a dupe for the Stila ones, but they did okay, they, they they tried. So, obviously I've already done a highlight before. So for bronzer, I've, it's kind of an, it's still new because I've never tried it before, but um, as you may already know, I've been literally just obsessed with 
the Too Faced Sweethearts blush. This is the sparkling Bellini one, I think. Yeah, that's that shade. It's like a really nice peachy pink and it's got a really, really nice glow to it as well. So I've been really, really obsessed with that. So I thought I'd try their Sweethearts bronzers and try this out. So yeah, how oh, this goes. Because I really, really, like this blush has become one of my favorite, favorite blushes just ever. So. I love it already. Too Faced just can't do any wrong for me. Like, I've never tried anything from Too Faced that I don't like. They're, they're up there with Colourpop, I'll tell you that. I'm just going to pop a bit of the blush on as well, because... Yeah, I've literally haven't been using highlight because I've been using this blush so much. Um, and it just adds a really nice glow to the skin. For lips, like I said, I've got like so many different product lip products I didn't realise. So I then bought another lip product yesterday when I went shopping. So I've got a lip liner, a some rubbish, a lip crayon, a liquid lipstick, and a plumping lip gloss. That's how many lip products I've bought right now. And guess what? They're all nudes, so. I'm pretty sure this is new because I've never seen these kind of lip liners before. So it's by Maybelline, uh, uh, Color Sensational Shaping Lip Liner. And this one's in the shade Nude Whisper, which I'll do a little swatch on my hand. It just looks like that. It's a kind of rosy nude. From Zoeva, I got a Scream Queen Lip Crayon and it's in the shade way too soon. So it's like got a nice um, gold lid and then, oh, that's really, ooh. So it's like a twisty up crayon. I think this is really good to kind of like throw in your bag for work and stuff. So I'm just gonna apply it and show you what it looks like. And then I'm still gonna apply the other stuff. I'll just show you this one. It's got really nice sheen to it. It's like a lip tint, I'd probably say. This is really nice. I'm definitely gonna keep this in like my work bag or something because this is really nice to just kind of quickly apply. I can take that off. I also got a Superstay Matte Ink Liquid Lipstick from Maybelline. This said that it was a new shade in the shop, so I'm assuming it's a new shade. It's called Dream, no, Driver. It's called Driver. And at first I thought this, this was going to be a really nice peachy nude and then it's very, like it doesn't look that it's that dark when you hold that up but then when you apply it, it's really, really light. So like, look at that, that's really, really light. So what I'm going to do is apply this first. It smells really nice by the way, it smells like sweets. So I'm going to apply this first and then I'm going to go over like round the lips with a lip liner. So it doesn't look too bad to be fair, it looks quite nice but I feel like it needs a lip liner because of my skin tone. Looks like really nice on its own. That's a really nice nude. It kind of reminds me of Strip by Colourpop, which is like my favourite lipstick ever. It's still transferring a little bit, so it's obviously not dried down fully yet. So I'm just going to apply some of the lip liner just round and see how that goes. Oh, that's too pink. Okay, never mind. Okay, hold on. Okay, I'm not gonna use that lip liner. That's too light to use. I need a darker one. Oh, here we are, perfect. Okay, I'm gonna use Chi from Colourpop. I'm gonna sharpen it first though. Yeah, okay, so I really do like it with the lip liner around it as well. So that's what that looks like. I really like this color. I think I might have a new favorite because it's not, it's not like a really pale, pink kind of nude it's like a peachy nude and they're like my favorites so that's a yes I really love that okay then it doesn't stop there so let me check if it's dry actually so it's still not fully dry obviously it does say it's matte ink but it, it it's not matte really see and it's in the shade honey sheen so I'm, I'm not bothered if oh dear I have no problem with plumping lip products I've never tried anything from pixie uh, lip related so let's see oh it smells like 
it smells like mouthwash. It's not tingling. I've, I've tried a lip plumping. I think I've tried the e.l.f. ones before and they kind of like tingle. I can't feel anything. Bit, so I will say this. I think because I've got like lip liner and a liquid lipstick underneath it, I feel like that's why I can't really feel it that much, but I can feel it a tiny bit now. So I feel like if you wore this on bare lips, then you're gonna feel like the plumping effect a lot more. But, oh wait, I can feel it now. To kind of like collect all my thoughts together from what I've tried today. Obviously, Becca primer, it's my favorite primer anyway, so I know I love that. Uh, the concealer, I'm gonna try this out a lot more. I'm gonna try it with my Derma Blend powder and just maybe try a brush or something. I'm gonna play around with it a bit more and see maybe if I just apply it differently, it might work out a bit better that way. Uh, same with the powder, I did like it off the bat. I need to sort out the packaging or something though because it just, it doesn't it doesn't pour out enough for me. Um, but I did really like it, it smoothed so nicely on, on the skin. The liquid eyeshadow, no, I don't, no, I'm gonna get rid of this. I don't think I'm ever gonna use it. It literally has broken up. It's transferred into the crease and everything. It's just not the best. So that's gonna go. Sweetheart's bronzer, really, really love this. I knew I would to be fair, cause I love the um, blush so much. So I knew I was gonna love that. And products then after that. So, um, so that lip liner actually. So this lip liner it might have been a bit too light for this lip colour because it was a bit peachy. This is more of a soft nude. So I feel like if you have a fairer skin tone than I do, then this will be a really good nude lip liner for you and it might show up a bit better on you than me. Um, but yeah, I, it was really creamy when I tried it anyway. So I do like that. Driver is, is it driver? Yeah, it is. It's driver is definitely going to be one of my favourite nudes from now on. I can tell. I really, really love that. And the pixie gloss, I did like that on top. So I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna try that on its own. And also that Zoeva lip crayon, this is really nice. So I'm gonna keep this in my work bag. So that is the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's try on haul. If you did like this video, then be sure to give it a thumbs up and I'll just keep doing them. I did kind of like this idea of like just kind of trying them on and showing you what I got. I know it was a lengthy video and it was super long, so I'm sorry. As always, make sure that you're subscribed as well so you don't miss any videos from me and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Reputation perceived me, I told you I'm crazy I swear I love the drama, it loves me And I can't let you go, your hand prints myself Suck your eyes and the guns, like your body's gone